Hello, Daniel Casinas here, back on the amphibious boat. So off camera I've uh, gusseted this all up, made this a bit stronger and I started making the steering mechanism. Just a piece of angle iron with a tie rod in between. So I've got that working and then when the wheel lifts up it's going to pivot right here. So it should stay in line as it comes up. Next we're going to do is make a link bar and a handle. So I cut the ball joints off the old four wheeler and I used them to weld to a piece of uh, 15 NB pipe. Just welded that on with a stick welder. And then I welded a tag to the arm that pivots so I can connect that. Then I sat in the boat and gave that a bit of a test. Seemed pretty good in the um, 15 NB pipe. It's like a water pipe. It's pretty rigid so it doesn't flop around so I don't need an extra brace on it. And then I'm just sitting there with a the handle trying to see how it's going to go but I couldn't figure out where to mount the pivot so I thought I'd move on to making the gearbox mount. So I just welded a little tag on the gearbox mount, drilled through and bolted that onto the chassis which is the M6 bolt. Put the 420cc motor in there, looks like it actually fits just perfect. Then I started making the engine mount for that. So I just drilled through with a 12mm hole at the end of the slots. I need to make it, I mean need to make the motor slide so I can adjust the belt tension. That's why I'm making slots instead of just holes. Then I cut it, cut through to join the holes with the grinder and then finish it off with the jigsaw. Weld that to the rest of the gearbox frame, then I also drilled through and mounted the motor as well. I still need to build a couple more mounts for it. Then I haven't had an idea of how to make the steering lever, so I started making up this little plate to weld to a bit of RHS, a bit of 25 by 25 RHS. Drill through the old seat mount and another hole at the top and that was ready to go. Then I had an idea of using a smaller pipe and then welding a motorbike handlebar to it so I can use like a motorbike lever or a BMX lever to use the throttle. And then I welded the other tag on the other side of the connecting rod, the steering rod. Welded on the bit of handlebar. But I've got a problem with it scraping at the front. So I drew up this image on Fusion 360 and I've actually found out, figured out how to record straight off the computer instead of holding a GoPro up like I usually do because I'm stupid. And I uh, printed that off. So there we go, let's cut that on the bottom of there. Okay, that works pretty good. I actually might print one for the other side now too, because that one's rubbing. Right, steering's hooked up, the motor's back in. Got the uh, throttle hooked up here. But the exhaust pipe is like exactly the wrong position where I want to sit for the test drive. Okay, I've got that exhaust back on, it's just sticking up in the air for now. I'll probably make it go out here eventually, but I just want to drive it. Got the other plastic part hot off the printer, I'll put that on and see if we can start up the motor. Works good, it's a bit fast and it's quite grunty. Really needs brakes. I put a vice grip on here on the lawnmower gearbox brake, but that's not very strong. 
I need to get these back brakes working. Anyway, why don't we go fishing? Here we go, George. Wondering, wondering. So here's George with his first catch. Well done, mate. Well, that works surprisingly good. The steering actually works really well. Um, it's got problems with going over center. You can spin right around, so then you're steering the wrong way again. So I've got to make stops for everything. The gearing actually seemed about right. I thought I was gonna to have to put a bigger pro, uh, poly on there, but I think it's about right. It's gonna be pretty fast though. I was like, not even quarter throttle in first gear. So I don't know how fast it's gonna go in fourth gear. This CV is scraping a little bit. It's off center. Uh, there's a boot that goes over this, so it'll be waterproof. But I think I just need to move these holes over a bit. I'll just slot them a little bit. I've still got to sort this mechanism out, it's not very good. The front one is pretty good. It'd be nice if I could lock that lever off in the middle so it's easier to raise and lower because it always tries to turn the wheel when you raise and lower, there's more resistance. And the gears, like it's really easy to, it just bangs through the gears super easy so you can just go from four bang straight to reverse. So I was thinking about making a, maybe I'll just 3D print a bit of a zigzaggy thing so it locks in each gear. And I'm going to make like a platform along the back here so the outboard can mount around here somewhere so I should be able to reach the tiller handle my seat's going to be there and I guess I'll make a passenger seat over top of this motor I probably need a belt uh, a guard around this belt or something too so kids put their fingers or the bowl puts their paw in there or something the whole boat is flexing quite a lot I probably need to brace it up a bit more I, I, it's all right at flexing a bit but I'm worried it's going to twist up if I go on an angle or something or turn too hard. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.